In the midst of my busy work and workout routine, I didn't want to miss out on the vibrant celebration of Diwali. So this week I added a festive touch to my weekly meal prep while still sticking to my nutrition goals. I kept things high in protein and low in calories as always so I could enjoy the season's flavors without compromising my health. In this video, I will show you how I meal prep this week's breakfast, lunch and dinner. I started with lunch making a high protein 3 bean salad with roasted rajma masala flavors. I used one can each of white beans, red beans and black beans. First I thoroughly rinsed the beans to remove any salty residue. After setting them aside to dry I chopped a quarter of an onion. To prepare the masala I sprayed a pan lightly with oil then added cumin and coriander seeds along with a tablespoon of my 3G paste, ginger garlic and green chilli. I followed up with half a tablespoon of tomato paste, a splash of water to prevent burning and the chopped onion. I seasoned everything with red chilli powder, turmeric, cumin powder and coriander powder. Then I stirred in the beans to coat them in the spices. Since the beans are cooked already, they only needed about 5 or so minutes to absorb all the flavors. I added a pinch of salt and a squeeze of lemon juice to finish them off. They tasted so flavorful and good, I could have just eaten this entire pan. While the beans cooled, I set up my salad containers. To keep the salads fresh and crisp, I placed a paper napkin at the bottom to absorb any extra moisture from the veggies. After that, I layered in baby arugula. Whenever available, I buy baby version of salad greens, baby arugula, baby spinach, baby spring mix. Because they are smaller in size, I don't chop them. For the rest of the salad, I finally chopped a bell pepper, about quarter of an onion and a large cucumber. After adding all the chopped veggies into the containers, I added the beans, about one cup into each container. Then I also chopped some cilantro and added that on top of the salads. The beans were so flavorful on their own that I didn't feel a need to make a fancy dressing. I just added some lemon juice, salt and pepper at the time of eating the salad. Next I moved on to the dinner, chicken tikka pulao. I started by chopping two bell peppers and half an onion into one inch cubes like how you would prepare for chicken tikka and set them aside and then also cubed up four chicken breasts. I made the marinade directly in a big mixing bowl. I combined three tablespoons of yogurt, a teaspoon each of red chili powder, turmeric, cumin powder, Shan's chicken tikka masala, some salt, a tablespoon of 3G paste, lemon juice and finally some crushed fenugreek leaves. I whisked everything until it was well combined. I added the chicken into the marinade. Since my lunch was a little lower in protein than usual, I decided to use a larger portion of chicken here to balance it out. I added the bell pepper and onion to the bowl as well, mixing everything so each piece was fully coated in the marinade. Ideally, you want to use a slightly bigger mixing bowl than I used because I was a little cramped here. For the rice, I rinsed a cup of basmati rice until the water ran clear and placed it in a heatproof container with a cup of chicken broth. Then in the instant pot, I layered the marinated chicken and veggies on the bottom, then placed a stand to hold the container with the rice on top. This setup kept the rice separate from any extra liquid the chicken might release. Then I set the instant pot to pressure cook on high for 6 minutes. After it was done, I released the pressure, opened the lid and took out the rice which came out so fluffy. The chicken was tender though a bit of liquid had collected so I drained it before mixing the rice with the chicken. My chicken tikka pulao was ready, an oil-free high-protein dinner with bold flavors. I divided it into four containers and garnished with cilantro and with that my dinner was ready. Finally, I prepared a batch of masala dudh inspired overnight oats for a breakfast. To make the masala first, I ground a mix of cashews, pistachios and almonds along with a few strands of saffron and a cardamom pod into a fine powder. For extra protein, I added a scoop of vanilla protein powder. This is completely optional. Then I added a pinch of turmeric and black pepper and some maple syrup for sweetener. You can add any sweetener of your choice. I poured in almond milk and blended everything together to make a masala dhu that you could enjoy on its own but we are taking it a step further. 
I filled five jars with half a cup of oats and half a tablespoon of chia seeds each then poured the masala dood over each jar. I gave each jar a good stir and then added some garnishes, some dried rose petals and also crushed some pistachios to add on top. You can also use the other nuts we added in the masala earlier. Rose petals add such an elegant festive touch, although if you don't have them, saffron strands make a great alternative. And that wrapped up my meal prep for the week. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful Diwali.